We are ending our day at Volcano House right now on the island of Hawaii at Volcanoes National Park. But let us take it back to show you the rest of the day. Waterfalls, zip lining. Yeah, that was a good one. It was a great day. I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. And this is Hawaii Vacation. <laughs> Says it best. Okay, today's gonna be a big day. We are leaving the Fairmont and South Kahala district right now, and we're driving over to Hilo and Volcanoes National Park. This is what a lot of people do when they come to Big Island. But let us show you some of the best things to do on the east coast of Hawaii. First, let's get out of here. On the road today, we are leaving the South Kahala district as we said, the Fairmont Orchid. So from here, taking Route 19 through Waimea is about an hour and a half to get to Hilo. If you go through Kailua Kona, about two hours this way. There is a shorter route over the Saddle Road, and it'll take about a half hour off your trip. Now we're going to continue on past Hilo to Volcano. So total two and a half hours, but we're going to make lots of stops and have a lot of fun. What's so cool about the Big Island is all the different microclimates that we're going to go through on this drive, starting with this lava field and then ending up in Hilo in a rainforest. been swept it's closing time and i'm a little tired it's a long time since i've slept this menu is absolutely, I mean, there's just a lot. It's hard to make a decision here, real hard. But I like their local loco selection, especially the Tita Mock with Spam and the Makasaurus. It's pretty cute. But I think we'll go with the classic pancakes. Well, I wouldn't say the weather's getting worse. Here we are. We're at Waipio Valley Lookout right now. It's really cloudy out there and windy, so that's why I'm doing this in the car. This is beautiful. You look out on this valley, and there's behind this one, or four more valleys behind this one, uh, ending in Pololu Valley, which is where we started our trip. So it's just a beautiful spot. That's why it's nice to come here and totally recommend going into the valley. There's ATV rides down there, there's horseback riding, there's a beautiful beach. It's a hard place to get to. There's a road to go down into it, and I think it's the steepest road in America, if not one of the top ones, it's like 25% grade down. You can do it in a four by four, but I think a lot of rental car places don't do it, but they have shuttles to take you down there. If you do horseback riding, they'll usually pick you up, especially in the closest town, Honoka'a, and then they'll take you down for the day. I know, please don't leave any comments that we should have done it. We said Henry, and we will do it on another trip. I am excited to go down there. There is a hiking trail down into the valley. It is a strenuous hiking trail, it gets pretty steep, but also a nice way to get down the valley and check it out. So, anything else, honey? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Big Island's really proud of their Pono Pledge. And this is a great way to respect the environment, respect the law, care for the land. You don't take lava rocks or sand with you. We really like this Pono Pledge. We'll leave a link to it down below. So Pololu Valley, where we started our trip, is way over on the other side. It's about four valleys up, I believe. Look at that, look at that beach down there. I guess that beach isn't the safest for swimming, but that is a nice black sand beach down there. So these valleys were formed by a massive landslide hundreds of thousands of years ago. It caused a massive tsunami that hit all the islands. Let's go, on the road again. We are driving down Route 19. This is Northeast Hawaii. We're driving down the Hamakua coast right now. This is a really nice drive because you're on the windward side of the island, so it does rain like it keeps doing right now. As you get closer to Hilo, it's just more and more like a rainforest. You drive over these gulches, past some rivers, maybe see a few waterfalls, but you always got the big ocean on the left and the volcano up on the right side. Think of a really nice drive. I'm at Umauma Zipline right now. This place is worth stopping. It has zip lining, ATVs, waterfall repelling, horseback riding, has a little bit of everything. Today, I'm going zip lining 
it's gonna be an adventure. Two miles of zip lines, nine different lines going over 18 waterfalls. That's why I love Hawaii. You got stuff like this. They're having fun. Hilo, 23 miles. Here we go. Hilo is the county seat of Hawaii. It's a cute town. It has nice shopping right along the oceanfront, good places to eat. There's museums here. If you want to bring the kids here for some good culture and some science, there's this Pacific Tsunami Museum, also an astronomy center. There's a zoo, which I believe is only like Rainforest Zoo in America. Also botanical gardens around here. So it's a fun place to stop for the day, grab some lunch, continue on to volcanoes. Right now it's cloudy. Last year we were here, it was sunny and I fell in love with this town. So even though it's cloudy, just bear with me. It's still a cute town. Check out the pictures. We're continuing to head south. We are now heading to Volcano Village and we are staying at Volcano House tonight. It's gonna to be awesome. But first we're gonna check out Thurston Lava Tubes and go to this really good Thai food truck. Stay tuned. And it's raining, really bad. <laughs> Volcanoes is pretty high up, so you definitely gotta bring some warm clothes. Which I forgot. Henry has his coffee back there <laughs> because it dropped 10 degrees since we left Hilo. And we're right now at 2,000 feet and continuing to climb. 67 degrees. It's cold. Sweet, thanks a lot, we will. We're in. So that's the Kilauea Visitor Center right there. That's cool. Go there and ask lots of questions. That's what I like to do. And then right there is our Volcano House entrance. Well, all these people look happy walking around. I know. It's not too cold. 60 degrees. I think we'll survive. Are you going to survive? So Henry and I and Mommy, Erica, we're walking to the Thurston Lava Tubes right now. It's just a quick walk from the parking lot. There's a lot of tubes, probably the biggest attraction you do here at Volcanoes National Park. Probably depends on who you ask to. Yeah, I guess we're hiking. It's an easy paved path right now. Other great things to do is the Kilauea Iki Trail, the Devastation Trail. We did that last year with Henry. That was a lot of fun. You can drive the Chain of Craters Road. Also go check out the steam vents, which is just right off the road, right by the visitor center. And the visitor center itself is really cool. Go there and ask the national park rangers like tons of questions. They love it. All right, buddy, it's 59 degrees. Let's go warm up by the steam vents. These are the steam vents right off the road. This is a fun little thing to stop at. Oh, look at all those steam vents over there too. So we're at the Kilauea lookout right now. And we should wait till it got dark out. It doesn't matter. It's too foggy tonight. There are too much cloud cover. Up the lake has been cooling, so we probably won't have seen much anyways tonight. But it was nice because Gertie, the national park worker, here dropped us a picture of what it looks like. So I'll show that right now. It's pretty cool. So it's pretty cool to be here on the edge of a rim of an active volcano. You can tell Henry is impressed. That's all that matters. Hey, what temperature does it say now? 59 degrees. 59, all right. It's 20 <laughs> below what we're used to. I'm yeah. calling that 20 below Hawaii. Yeah, 20 <laughs> below Hawaii. We've been here before last year. We were trying to find food in Volcanoes Village and like everything was closed. And uh, so that's why we're excited. There's a food truck here to go to. We think. We think. It's a busy spot. They're out of a lot right now because we're at the dinner rush at the end of the day.
It does look really good. It's all made to order. So like, it's pretty it legit. It takes a while. It takes a while. Welcome to Volcano House. We have wanted to stay here forever. Let's see what's inside. Show mommy. We I made it. it. We made it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> we finally made it. We're Volcano House at Volcano National Park. We're staying here tonight, so it's been quite a drive. It's a little misty out there, as Henry says. It's hard to see, but you can see the caldera out there. Henry and I were reading the review of this place, neat, roomy, and well-kept. As I expect for a hotel with the view of Kilauea Volcano. Yeah. All right, so we are ending our day by the fireplace, and it is not a bad place to spend the evening. We have some chocolate chip cookies, hot chocolate. It's been a big day, big drive over here, but I hope you had a lot of fun. Check out our Big Island itinerary. It's at thehawaiivacationguide.com slash big island. We put all this great stuff and things to do for the day, like big excursion days out. You'll love it. Thanks for watching. Thanks.